and good evening again Shima girls I pray all of you ladies are doing great as always that you also had a fantastic weekend as well well in this video I want to discuss pre pooing yes we're definitely going to explore the world of pre pooing I mean as far as I'm concerned anything that's going to help us maximize our Shima hair growth results we are going to explore okay this is for our own benefits all right so yeah because pre pooing has definitely helped a lot of ladies maintain healthy hair and has also helped them to grow longer hair so I wanted to bring this to the attention of you ladies especially if you're newbies and you don't know anything about pre pooing well you're gonna learn something about pre pooing today <laughs> so yeah I definitely want to look very deep into this subject matter and and at the end of the video if if any of you ladies have already you know done any type of pre pooing or done your own pre pooing treatment definitely share in the comment section so we can learn even more okay now I like to take things from the beginning you know uh, meaning we're, we're going to um, know what the word itself means pre pooing okay so we're gonna we, I'm going to define the word pre pooing remember again ladies that that everyone not all of us automatically know what these terms mean you know like I said at the beginning especially if you were a newbie and you're just starting out you know that that word sounds foreign to you <laughs> so I, I remember that I didn't know anything about pre pooing you know either once upon a time that that was a foreign sounding word to me you know pre pooing what the heck is that <laughs> but you know a little research a little listening and stuff and I've also conducted a pre poo treatment a while ago on my hair it was a couple of months ago already but I, I did it myself so yeah so I have some experience with it so okay let's let's define the word uh, poo the, the suffix the, the, which is part of the word poo basically the word poo lays is just an abbreviation for shampoo okay so when we insert um, the prefix pre the PRE part that basically indicates that we're about to do something before you know before we actually do the real shampooing so hence the word pre poo you know you can also say I preset the table I'm going to pre wash my hair you know it, it's something you do before in, in, in preparation you see how the word pre is also uh, uh, at the beginning of preparation you're preparing something so basically you're gonna be preparing your hair for the actual shampoo but before we get to that part you know I'm gonna take you step by step you know um, uh, regarding the pre pooing treatment okay so uh, also um, there are other terms that is used that you know means pre pooing as well and, and for example some ladies like to say oh it's the pre shampoo treatment or it's the pre wash deep treatment you know but it's the same thing they're talking about the same thing they're talking about the pre pool the pre pooing treatment okay now let's see what a pre pool actually is now that we know what the word means <laughs> well a pre pool ladies usually consists of oils or some type of deep conditioning mixture you know for example oils like rosemary oil castor oil olive oil coconut oil and coconut oil actually tends to be one of the best you know oils to use if you're going to be doing this pre poo treatment ladies I just want to throw that out there and because for the simple fact that coconut oil actually helps prevent protein loss during washing okay so keep that in mind when you're choosing your oils all right there's also sweet almond oil and basically basically the bottom line you can use any oil you like you know including my own shima oil <laughs> which contains the very best natural oils that's gonna help you nourish and moisturize you know our afro texture hair so if you want to do a pre poo treatment with my shima oil go ahead and do it <laughs> now one of the very first important steps in your pre pooing treatment, ladies, is to decide which oil or oils you're going to be using. Okay, so after you make your decision, you know, whether you're going to use a single oil or, or my, she, my own Shima oil, basically, you're going to simply slather this oil, you know, whether it's one oil or mixture oil or my Shima oil, onto your hair. 
you know, until your hair while it is still dry, not wet, not damp, but while it is still dry. Then what you're going to do after you finish slathering the oil all over your hair, you're going to put a plastic conditioning cap and you're going to sit under a hair dryer or use a steam hair bonnet. If you have one, if you have a steam hair bonnet, that's fantastic. You can walk around the house while your hair is being, you know, steamed basically, <laughs> you know, and you're going to do this, you know, for about it. Third, from 30 minutes to an hour, usually an hour will be will be even better, okay? Because this is going to allow the oils to penetrate very deep into the hair shaft, okay? Again, preparing your hair for the shampoo treatment. And I'm going to get a little deeper in, into that preparation part uh, for the shampoo treatment, okay? I'm going to explain something that, that I want you ladies to be aware of, okay? Now, with that said, um, regarding this pre-pooing treatment stuff, it is not necessary, ladies, to pre-poo each and every single time you are about to shampoo your hair. Okay, only if you feel your hair needs it, then you can do it. All right, now, certain ladies, they prefer to conduct their pre-poo treatments on unwashed, dry, basically dirty hair, you know, to be blunt. They like their hair to be unwashed and, and, and you know, dirty and stuff. So they, they apply the oils while the hair is still dirty and unwashed. Uh, uh, you know, they, they saturate the oil on, on the hair while it is in that condition. And they can, and, and then they sit under the dryer and, you know, and complete the pre point treatment that way. Now, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it on your hair while it is while it's clean or semi-clean, okay? But those, those ladies that do it on unwashed hair, they say that, it tastes better that way, that it comes out better that way. You know, that's their experience, okay? So, you know, sometimes you, you, you make your own decision regarding that, whether you wanted to do it on unwashed hair or on hair that is already clean, okay? So with that said, um, should you know, how many times should we do this pre pooing treatment, okay? Um, I would rec recommend once every two weeks, which is, which is the amount of time that I, I like you ladies to leave your protective styles in. But you can also do it once once a week. But like I said, you don't have to do this each and every single time you're going to shampoo. Okay? You don't have to only if your hair needs it. So keep that in mind as well. Okay? Now, after you wash out the oils, then that's when you're going to use the main shampoo to wash your hair. That means your hair has already been prepared. So with that said, if you already have Mashima Hair Repair Shampoo, then that's what you're going to proceed to, to put into your hair, okay? The, the, and also, the way you wash out the pre poo treatment, the oils, is basically you rinse it out, okay? So rinse it out first with, with, with warm, not, not too hot and not too cold water. Just rinse it out, and, and then the, uh, you apply the shampoo. But with my shampoo, remember that I, I like for your hair to be dry, Okay, so if you can allow your hair to get dry, you know, that that would be great. If you can, if if not, then at least get your hair in a damp state. You know, gently towel block your hair and at least get in a damp shape. But my shampoo is to be applied to dry hair. Okay, so yeah. All right, now let's discuss some of the benefits of pre pooing You know, why do ladies choose to pre poo in the first place? Well, I did mention some of the reasons at the beginning. And again, they include that pre pooing has helped many of our Afro textured hair ladies, you know, make their hair feel 10 times softer. It has made the hair easier, you know, to glide their hair combs through. And basically, it has made their hair much more manageable. Okay. And again, it, it also prepares the hair for the stress of shampooing, quote unquote, the stress. And the reason I'm putting quotes on the stress is because the only reason why it's going to be stressed with your shampooing is because you go, it, it, that's only if you're using those shampoos that contain those harsh ingredients like sulfates, okay? That's why, uh, that, that's why the stress is in quotes. So with that said, remember, remember, <laughs> ladies, that my Shima Hair Repair Shampoo contains no sulfates, which means there's going to be no stress with this shampoo. All right, and also means that's gonna make your pre pooing results even more softer and even more manageable.
So yes, Shima girls, I wanted to make this video on, you know, re-exploring the world of pre-pooing so that my newbie Shima girls and, and my advanced Shima girls can also, you know, have a refresher course on pre-pooing. Okay, because remember, anything that's going to help us maximize our Shima hair growth results, you know, we, we need to explore it and we need to apply it. Okay, so if you think pre-pooing is something that you would like to explore and apply, then do it ladies please do it whatever it takes to maximize our the health of our hair the growth of our hair the beauty of our hair for our beautiful afro textured hair let's do it